Hey guys, Flabaliki here today, and this is a bit of a different episode of Why Not Play Minecraft. Um, this is a base building kind of speed up video. Well, actually, this is more of a slime hole digging, to be honest. Um, right now, I am digging out the slime pit, um, which is the chunk which goes from level 40 all the way down to bedrock. Uh, and in real time, this actually took me, uh, how long was it, two and a half hours to dig down. Um, well, it included some other kind of farm work that I did. Ooh, gold! I found, yeah, I found a bit more gold, I found some redstone, and a few other things we'll see when we get there. So, anyways, I suppose I'll talk about this whole thing. Um, I decided to film this because I didn't film the ravine digging. Um, well, for one, that was a lot shorter, and two... I just didn't, I just didn't think about it, to be honest. But I thought I'd film this, um, so you can see me all doing it. And this is about seven times speed. I had to create, I, I got a whole, I've got two double chests filled with cobblestone, uh, and two single chests, I think, filled with cobblestone after this. Because there was a lot of digging I had to do. I went through so many iron picks as well. Um, if you really wanted to, you could probably count them by going through the video as well. But, you know, that's up to you. Um, I also double checked with uh, the slime checker app on when you just search in Google, you search slime chunk finder. I double checked, so I, just, I chucked in my seed and I double checked that this was actually a slime chunk and it was. So I was like, because okay, I didn't want to, because I don't know if you remember, but last time, I think it was, it was two bases ago, I dug out two chunks, which I thought were slime chunks. Um, and I dug all the way from 40 down to bedrock on two chunks. And it turned out that they didn't have any slimes. So that was that was an absolute... That was devastating. That was so upsetting. Um, so this time I double-checked because I didn't want to waste my time. And this indeed is a slime chunk, which is brilliant. Um, I'm not sure... You'll, you'll see it later, I think. But because this is at the bottom of the ravine, it's not the same width as, as the ravine. And it kind of creates a weird shape. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it to make it look nice because I want the, the ravine is going to turn into a proper like base with nice walls down the side with all these rooms and redstone funkadelic contraptions and all that sort of stuff. It's going to turn into that, uh, but I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with all that sort of stuff first. So, because I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with the slime chunk area and uh, how I'm going to sort of disguise it. I'll probably just build floor over it or something, maybe glass. Uh, at, I've got to smelt a lot of smooth stone as well because I want to make all the walls smooth stone. At the moment, they've got a lot of. Uh, I'm just breeding some animals there. I do a lot of farming as well on this actually. I got a lot of animals and a lot of food. Oh, that skeleton! That skeleton sniped me and I fell down the hole and lost all my stuff. Look, there it is. I'm just getting it all now. <laughs> oh, that skeleton is such a douche. Anyways, back to digging! Anyways, yeah. So I want to turn all the walls into smooth stone. Um, and I th cause that'll look a lot nicer as well. And then, so really the next major, cause the ma next major thing I've got to do after this, uh, ma major base work that is, I've got to dig out the space for the, the minecart storage station. Um, and once that's all dug out, then I can, um, actually start building it, which will be really cool. Um, and some of you are saying like, yeah, I noticed this as well in the last series of why not play Minecraft, I really just lost enthusiasm for Minecraft. And I think it was largely due to the, the fact that I didn't have any goals. I didn't have any anything I wanted to do in Minecraft at that point. There was nothing there was nothing driving me to play Minecraft really. Um, but since I started the Redstone tutorials and sort of it kind of lulled off for a while, then I brought it back. When I got featured on the Minecraft forums, I started making them again. And I, I really got back into Redstone. I'm really enjoying Redstone. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to base my Let's Play around redstone as well and making redstone things. So that has now become my main focus of the Let's Play. Um, of course, surviving as well and killing monsters, but the main focus, the main goals I want to achieve is create all the redstone creations I've made tutorials for in my actual legitimate Minecraft world to show that it's actually plausible and possible to put these things in your legit world. Because a lot of tutorials you see out there, they... They show you these really extravagant things, like really massive things that use a billion repeaters and a billion pieces of redstone and all this stuff that would take you so long to actually collect. And it just seems that it's like entirely unrealistic. Like, um, some, like people have been asking me to make a piston elevator and I will, but 
the, the thing is, because I was trying to make my own one, um, because there's a lot out there, and there's a lot of piston elevators out there that um, are designs by other people, but I wanted to make my own, and I was trying to make one that used minimal repeaters and sticky pistons, because a lot of those elevators use a whole ton of sticky pistons. It's crazy. So if you don't have slimes, you can't make it. Um, but I suppose as soon as you find a slime chunk, you can probably get a lot more slime anyway, but it just, it's just ridiculous the amount of slimes you need to make all those pistons and everything. So I was trying to make my own without it, and I, I was getting so close. I made an elevator that goes up, but I can't make it go down now, which is a bit of a shame. And the, the best part is it only uses two pistons. It only uses one sticky piston and one ordinary piston. That was the best part. That's what made me the most happy, because it didn't really use any pistons at all. Um, because the way I did it, if, if you guys have seen the sort of the piston monorails where the pistons push each other along uh, horizontally, I just flipped that vertically and made it push upward. Um, and I can make it go down, but it requires manual adjustment. And that's not something that I want to I share because that's not really what I want to go for. Uh, but yeah, so I was trying to make, I, I might just resort to using a design that's already existing and... I'll give full credit to whoever made it, like, when I find it. But, uh, I'll, I'll try and, because a lot of those tutorials, again, don't, like, the one I watched that, um, that I was seeing how it worked and all that sort of stuff, the one I watched, he just says, yeah, put this here, this here, this here. Oh, don't put it there because it won't work. Put it here because it will work. I'm like, that doesn't tell me anything. I don't know why you're doing this. You're just doing it because you know it works, but I don't know why it works. So I had to figure it out for myself. So after, like, when I watched it, I figured out why this worked and why that worked. And I was like, okay, this makes sense now. I actually know why he's doing this. But he didn't help explain it at all. He didn't explain why it worked or how it worked, which really sort of limited my ability to create that for myself. Because I find that if someone doesn't explain how, to, how something works properly, trying to rebuild it for yourself, it becomes a lot harder. Because, yeah, you'll have to watch the video and build along, which you have to do with any tutorial, but I think if they explain it in more depth and more detail, it will actually enable you to learn how to make it yourself. So if you if you watch the tutorial maybe once or twice, or how many times you need to, but you'll have a greater understanding and a greater ability to remember how it, how it was made, and therefore a greater uh, retention of exactly how to make it as well. Anyways, back to what I'm doing here. I'm just, I've just extended the farm because the animals are really cramped in um, and it was really depressing, to be honest. So <laughs> I extended the farm and put a lot more wheat down um, and because I was absolutely sick of digging at this point. Um, we're not even halfway through the digging. <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore, so I got, I got completely sick of digging. So I started doing some of the wall and then I ran out of fences. I think I ran out of something. I was like, okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, started putting, I get ambushed a few times here actually by monsters, which was to be expected. It actually made me quite, I was like, I, I got really jumpy as well while doing this. So I was like, whoa. Um, but anyways, yeah. Um, so that was my little rant about redstone tutorials and what they should be and what they shouldn't be. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them showing me how to make something really cool. It's just the fact that it's not as good if they don't tell me how, how it works and why it works. Which is what I'm really trying to do with my tutorials as opposed to others. I'm really trying to... Oh, that creeper there. He was he was being a douche. That creeper on the ladder. I was like... I tried to make a bow, but I only have two strings. It was really upsetting. And eventually, I just had to go down and try and get him. I'm just trying to, like, scope out the situation. I just don't want to go down there, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, anyways. So, yeah, the majority of this video is actually just digging this hole. We're not even far down yet. Oh, here we go. This is the best bit. Look, look, look. There's a slime. There's a slime there. How good is this? <laughs> yes. We get two slime balls. How good is this? I slowed this bit down for you guys because we get two slime balls. And we now have four slime balls. How good is that? That means all we need now is redstone. We just need the redstone and then we can build the station. And wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We get the redstone later in this video. So that means in the next episode we will be building the, the station. But it also means I have to dig out the station. <laughs> I don't want to do any more digging right now. <laughs> I'm so sick of digging. <sighs> but anyways, um, that yeah, that's really cool. That means we can start building it next time around. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, yeah, this is where I gave up. And I was just like, I'm just going to dig down and start going at the bottom. And I find some redstone. 
I didn't find any diamonds though. It's really upsetting. I was like, I'm really low down. I'm digging out a massive area, 16 by 16 area, 40 blocks high. Well, only 16 in terms of diamonds because only up to layer 16. But I mean, that was a lot of space and I didn't find any diamonds. So it was, it was kind of upsetting. But we've already got 14, I think maybe. And I died a few times during this as well, which is kind of kind of lame. Otherwise my rank, my, my XP would be a lot higher than it is. But it's not. So that's a shame. Um, so I'll talk about something else. Um, just, just general banter about my, my YouTube channel and all that. Um, I don't know how many of you guys know about, oh, probably most of you, um, at, like Astro Gaming, um, like they make the Astro A40s and now they have the A50s and I want to get the A50s. I've currently got the Astro A40s, which are amazing. Um, but I want the A50s <laughs> just cause, cause they're wireless and they look really cool. Um, and I'm a bit of an Astro fanboy because I've had these for over a year now, my, my Astros, and they're fantastic. They're really good. Um, best headset I've ever had. I used to, before these, I had Logitech G35s, which are also amazing. They sound great. They're, they're really awesome. But the main problem I have with, well, no, I actually didn't have any problem. Sorry. I, first of all, first and foremost, G35s are actually really good. I didn't have any problem. It was when I switched over to the Astros, I noticed how bulky and how big the G35s actually were. The Astros are so light and they sound so good. It's just, it's awesome. Um, anyways, back to what I was going to say. Um, because I want the Astro A50s. And I notice a lot of people on YouTube actually have like a, a kind of partnership going on with Astro Gaming. And I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll contact them and ask them about that. So I did. And they're like, um, yeah, we can do that for you when you have 100,000 subs. So I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, which would be pretty cool because what they do basically is they uh, pretty much they give you free Astros, which is really what I'm after, but don't tell them that. Uh, <laughs> so that, that would be pretty cool. But you know, they said, yeah, hundred, hundred thousand subs and we can, we can, we can talk. So, uh, that's a bit of a goal for me to get, um, yeah, 5,000 now, but I mean, you never know what might happen. Something, something might explode. I might get heaps of subs. I might lose heaps of subs. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. Nobody knows what the future holds until it arrives, but then it's not the future, it's the present, so uh, it's not really, because you never know what the future holds. Uh, but yeah, that was a bit of, so yeah, I found out about that. I mean, I wasn't expecting them to uh, partner with me now, because I, I don't have that many, but I was telling them about, because I have two channels, in case, of, those of you who don't know, I have two YouTube channels. I have this channel here, and a channel called The Sim Supply, which as the name suggests, it's all about The Sims, pretty much. That's all it is. So if you're not into The Sims, I don't even check it out, but... It's a channel where I do Sims videos. Um, I do tutorials on the game. I do Let's Plays on the game. Um, and some other kind of things as well. Uh, actually, that's about it, really. Tutorials and Let's Plays. <laughs> that's what I do on there. And that's got about 7,000 subs. I think 7,200 subs, maybe? Or something around that. So it's actually... The channel's bigger than this one. Um, and that's pretty cool. But that one's got... This channel now has just got over a million views recently, which is freaking awesome. I was really happy about that. But then the other channel recently got over 2 million views. So that was really awesome too. Um, so both, the, most, both my channels right now are doing extremely well. And I'm really happy with them. Um, and it's really awesome, to be honest. Um, I, I feel, I feel so, much, so much love coming from you guys. And it's also, because of the whole Redstone tutorial series, it's also really revived my, my will to make videos as well. Because there was a bit of, like, yeah, I was busy with school though. So that's why I wasn't making videos as well. Um, I was really busy with schoolwork and I just seriously didn't have the time or the energy to make videos when I got home. So I was like, I can't do this. But after the whole Redstone tutorial series and getting posted on the Minecraft forums, getting more interest from the community, it's really motivated me to sort of get off my ass, even when I'm really tired and do videos. Um, and just, re cause I really, I just want to make them for you guys because you guys are enjoying them and it's really good feedback for me to know that you guys are loving them. I mean, like... Yeah, even if you guys didn't like them, to be honest, I would still make them because really it's for me. It's to make the videos for myself because I enjoy it. And I would do it, but it's just I'm doing them more because you guys like them. Um, if, if you didn't like them, I'd just do them less often. <laughs> really, that's that's the difference. I'd still do them, so you, you still have to see them. Um, oh, look, yeah, I, I bred heaps of animals at once. I think I had six pigs and six cows in there, so I just killed them all off and got heaps of meat and uh, and pigs and all that sort of stuff. I don't know how many of you are actually watching the video right now because I mean this is more this turned more into a podcast to be honest. 
And I got nothing against podcasters. Podcasts are really fun to listen to, actually. I was listening to one this morning um, when I woke up. Got up at 7 a.m. this morning. Um, because I don't know if this is just me, but because I'm on school holidays at the moment, um, which is why I'm doing a lot of videos as well, by the way. Um, I don't know if this is just me, but whenever it comes to uh, school holidays, my, I tend to just like stay up really late and it just becomes completely out of whack. Like for me, uh, <laughs> this holidays, uh, I was, uh, it got to a point where I was up to 5am, 6am every night. I was like, this is ridiculous. I got, I got to fix this. Um, so I, I, I went to bed at six and I woke up at 10 in the morning. So it's only like four hours sleep. And then that forced me to go to bed at nine 30, um, that night. So then I woke up at seven this morning. Uh, and I'll be going to bed soon because it's 11.30 now. Uh, I'll be going to bed after this video, actually. I'm staying up to do this for you guys. So enjoy. Um, anyway, I'll go back to talking about podcasts, I suppose. Uh, well, there's really nothing I have to say about it. <laughs> Just that, uh, like, you have a lot of those, like, there's a lot of people that do podcast, like, gaming kind of podcasts. They're really good to listen to. Just put them in the background and, like, go play a game because, I don't know. It's just something to listen to. So I thought that this is kind of what this is. It's more of a podcast than a... Than a watchable video, really. But look at this. This is the last layer I'm digging out right now. The last layer of the whole hole. The whole hole. Um, which is... It would actually be 35 blocks deep because Bedrock is up to layer 5, I think. And I'm picking up all the pieces. Look at that. All the pieces. All picked up. I think I'm done now, actually, if we go back up. And then I move on to actually building a wall around my base. But then I realize how... <laughs> It's really upsetting, actually. <laughs> I built the wall, um, and actually, am I done? Oh, no, I'm not done. I lied. Sorry, I wasn't even watching. I thought that was the last But there is a layer that looks like that at the end. Uh, we'll get there soon. Um, but, yeah, no, I built the wall, and, oh, gold. Look, I was jumping. <laughs> Every time I find a good ore, I, like, jump up and down and spin around and stuff on the camera. Um, anyways, yeah, so I built the wall and I was like, this, this isn't going to work because it's not tall because the trees go over it. So then I started removing trees around it and then I got bored of that because at that point I'd been playing Minecraft for three and a half hours and all I'd done was dig a hole for two and a half of them and built a wall for the other hour. Um, so I was, I was completely, I was just like, nah, leaving it, leaving the wall. I finished up the wall like decoration wise. But functionality, I mean, it's gonna, it's probably not gonna work very well. Um, and of course, the whole area that the wall goes around is still, it's not lit up either. So <laughs> there's still gonna be monsters spawning in there. I didn't bother to light it up. I'll do that later. I'll probably go down into the Nether and grab some lightstone and ooh lapis, and uh, I will light it up with lights. Maybe I might actually make some redstone lamps. And, and like light up the area with redstone lamps so I can use a light switch to turn on all the lights in the areas. Or I could also make a bud switch, which is a block update switch that detects if it's daytime or nighttime, which would be awesome because that means when it goes nighttime, the lights would turn on automatically, which would be really cool. Um, so I might do that, actually. That's a good idea. Um, after I do the, the storage station, I figured... Because my chests at the moment are absolutely atrocious. They are so messy. They're filled with cobblestone and so much crap. Um, so once I do the storage cut station, I sort all that crap out. Then I'm going to do the portal, the, the nether portal toggle. Um, but I think my tutorial is a bit dodgy, to be honest. Not dodging the fact that it doesn't work. Dodging the fact that I could have made it easier, um, which I found out afterwards, which is a bit of a shame. But I mean, it still works the way it is. It's a bit big, but it works. Um, there are smaller ways to do it, I have found, since. But uh, I'll probably do a revised tutorial on that later. Um, but yeah, that was kind of... I guess I kind of discovered it a couple hours after I posted the video. I was like, oh, that's a shame. Because <laughs> I, I did spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to do it the first time around. I, did, I actually did a few designs. And that, the one I showed in the video was the last one I came to. And I was like, yeah, that's good. That's good. Because um, I, I, I couldn't figure out how to make it any better. And then... Later on, I did, and I was upset, because <laughs> I was like, that's not as good as it could be. But, I mean, ne nevertheless, it works. Um, that's all right. So we're coming to the last layer now, I think. After this big chunk, I think there's only one layer below us. I'm not really sure, actually. Um, but, yeah, we'll f I guess we'll see as we come to that. So where are we now? We're at 20 minutes into the video. If you're still listening, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. 
Um, maybe if you're still listening, in the comment, comment um, below with, I don't know, it's going to be something secretive that people who didn't watch this part of the video wouldn't know. Maybe if you slip in the word, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of a word to do with my name, but that doesn't really, we can't really slip in flabberleaky, that's going to be a bit obvious. Um, maybe, hmm, slip in the word, just maybe slip in the word for, just F-O-R. If you put the word for in, within a comment, I'll know that you're watching at this point of the video. So that means you're pretty awesome. So try and comment with that. And don't just write for or some non-coherent sentence. Put it in a proper sentence like, I don't know, I bake cookies for my mom. <laughs> that that counts because that, that has four in it. And for the record, I don't bake cookies for my mom because I don't know how to bake. So that's that sorted. Anyways, so, oh God, the number of picks, like I said this before, but the number of picks I had to use in this is ridiculous. And I didn't, I found iron throughout it, but I, I don't know if I, I think I might have relatively broke even. Like I was pretty close to the same number of uh, picks. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, because I don't have, I turned it on peaceful now. I only had it on normal difficulty before. Yeah, this is the last layer right here. I only had it on normal difficulty before because I was I was hoping a slime would spawn so I could get the slime balls. And then after I got the slime, I turned it off. So that's why I'm kind of safely digging at night. And there's no monsters around like there was before. So that is that information cleared up in case you were absolutely dumbfounded about why there's no monsters attacking me right now. Um, but here we go. We're coming down to the, the very last little edge here. I'm bringing it in. Bringing it in. Here we go. Last block. Then I have to get down. I'll put it in the wrong spot. And I got the block. There we go. <laughs> and then we go up. And I think I'm just putting all the stuff away. And then I believe we go look at it during the daytime. There it is. Look at that. That's ridiculous. I could have slowed that bit down for you. But we'll see it next episode anyways. And now I start building the wall. Um, this was, this part here was annoying anyway. Actually, I had, to cut, I had to cut down a whole jungle tree as well because it was in my way. I was really upset when that got in my way. <laughs> I was like, damn it. So bring it along. You'll see it in a second and I'll be like, oh no. I was thinking about just moving the wall. I was like, oh, whatever. We'll go get my, I'm going to get my axes now and we cut it down. It's my first jungle tree that I've ever actually cut down because I've, I've never bothered before. Um, because I, I don't... I only like, uh, well, birch wood's all right, but I don't like the color of jungle wood when you turn it into planks. So I'm only going to use this for like sticks and stuff because I don't, it has a weird color and I don't really like it at all. <laughs> so I'm not going to use it in planks. I could use it just as the logs though, because the log texture looks nice. So I like that. But planks aren't so nice. But that's just my opinion, I suppose. Um, yeah, so how much time have I got to blabble on about now? Another like five minutes, seven, six minutes. Yeah, about six minutes. Um, <laughs> wasting time talking about how much time I've got left. Right. Uh, so what what other topics have I got to talk about? There's some other things that I knew there was something I wanted to talk about. There there was something because I was gonna I was like maybe I should do a video on this. I was like no, nah, don't need to. There was definitely something I wanted to talk about. I just don't know what it was. Um. Oh, maybe, well, we're doing it, we're changing up our, like, uh, yeah, that's right, I think it, I, I don't know if it was about this, but I'm going to talk about this anyways. Um, for those of you who are sort of hanging around for rags to riches, um, I will be doing more of those, but I'm not going to be doing them until Minecraft 1.3 officially comes out, because that's when we're going to update the RPG server and change it around, it's going to have a new map and new plugins, a different setup, and so it's going to be new again. And I, I don't see much point in me progressing towards nothing, um, really. Because by the time I, I decided I wanted to start doing them again, which is when I became on, on school holidays, I was like, well, we're going to be resetting the server pretty much August 1st, so I don't see much point in me doing that. Um, so there will be more of those coming, um, but that will be next month. So that's a heads up on that. And on that note, we're cha yeah, we're changing the servers then as well. RPG, the server it's currently on, actually expires on the 14th of this month. So it will be closing down for about half of the month before we reopen it. So that's a heads up there as well, in case you're watching. I don't know if you are, but if you are, we're closing it on... Oh, actually, I don't know, because 
we we're going to close it a day before on the 13th, but then I looked at the day of it and it said Friday the 13th. And I was like, that doesn't sound too good, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a superstitious person, but I mean, it's just one of those things that Friday the 13th, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> but no, we'll probably be closing it on the 13th or maybe the 12th, a couple of days beforehand, um, just so that they don't shut down the server and we accidentally lose everything, because that would be the worst. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna back up the entire map, which I believe is actually around a couple of gigabytes now, two or three gigabytes on, in size of the map. It's freaking massive. And we'll actually be putting that up for download so you guys can grab it if you want it and you can get all your stuff out of there. Um, so that'll be up for download. So that's not gonna be lost. It's not gonna be deleted. You can grab that if you want. Um, we, I might actually, I don't know. I haven't discussed this with the other guys that run the server with me, but we might put up the entire server, like the, the list of plugins we used, maybe the configurations we use and that kind of stuff. So maybe if you wanted to recreate the same server that we had, you could do that. Maybe just with a smaller map because the map is absolutely humongous. It's ridiculous. Um, so that could be interesting. We might do that. I'll, I might talk to them about that. Um, so yeah, I'll be shutting down for about half the month and be moving to a new server that is a lot cheaper because the server, <laughs> the server of the, the RPG server is ridiculously priced. It's like 200 and 35 US dollars a month um, and we just don't have the money to pay for that anymore because we we, we haven't got any donations for like a month or two now so we're, we're running dry on on cash but that's okay don't worry I'm not I'm not saying donate or anything you don't have to it's completely optional we, we we've just decided to move to a cheaper option which will still work perfectly fine because we had we got that expensive server when we had all the people from Minecraft forums and it was perfect for that oh gotta hit the mic sorry uh, it was perfect for that um and it worked really well. And we had plenty of money because we had all the donations rolling in and all that kind of stuff. But since then, it's just dropped to a lull. We still get quite a few people on there, but not enough for a server that expensive. And nobody is helping us maintain it, really, because, yeah. <clears throat> um, so we'll just be moving to a cheaper server. I believe it's going to be $60 a month, but it's also going to... We're going to get rid of the My World server, which is our other survival server, in case you don't know about. Um, we're not getting rid of it, but we're moving it on to the same server as RPG. So they'll both be on the $60 server. Um, whereas currently my world is on $20 server. Um, but we'll be combining the two. So it'll be $60 for both, which should be good. And yeah, so that's news on the server is what we're doing on that kind of front. Um, and all that sort of stuff. And right now I'm digging out about half of the freaking desert. I only dig out one layer because I didn't want to completely mutilate the landscape. Because I, I hate... Like, I've seen this on servers, people just select a block and dig out a whole block of sand and you just have this giant hole in the ground and it'll, it looks atrocious. So I just decided to dig out one layer. I dug a few holes by accident, but I feel, actually fill them in later. I'm grabbing all this sand because next episode I'm going to have all the glass to actually um, cover up our sort of atrium roof, our archways up the top. Um, I, got a, I got a number of stacks. I think I got seven stacks of glass. Um... I think I have more sand, actually. I don't think I actually smelted all of the sand, but I have seven stacks of glass that we can use. So we're going to do that next episode. Um, probably I'll probably cut out most of it because it'll probably take a while, but I'll, I'll do some of it in real time. And I actually got lost here. I got so lost. I saw a village out there somewhere, actually. I was like, there's a village out there. There's life. And that means we can trade with villages, but I've got to find emeralds, and I have no idea where to find them because I've dug heaps and I haven't found any. But anyways, guys, the video is coming to a close now. I'm Flo Baliki and I'll, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.